real clients, real jobs, the before and the after is all important. Feature walls behind you, creating the statement, that was my starting point. Before and after. Before and after. It's all about the drama. A lot of what you'll see on 60 Minute Makeover, even though it's within, within 60 minutes, I'm always trying to maintain what I do for a living. It's all got to have a purpose and a quality. Because it's all about getting it right for you. I could come to your home, or your home, or your home, it's next Tuesday, okay? And do what I want. I don't live in your home. You live in your home. So a real good interior designer will interpret what you want and make sure that when you spend your money, you spend it wisely and make sure you get the result that you want. It's about bringing out what you want, how you want to live. Now, how often have we been on holiday? Or how often have we been in a beautiful, stately home? Or even worse, been at the neighbours and thought, that's what I want. Where did she get that? She's at the underneath looking at things. When designing here for the Homes Interior Show 2011, um, they asked me what I want to talk about, and I thought, what a good idea. Uh, I'll show you what I would do if I'm in somewhere that I really, really find as a beautiful interior. How would I note that down and bring that look home? Now, luckily enough, I'm just back from Florida Keys. And you're wondering, that's where the tan's from. In reality, it rained for 10 days. <coughs> the tan's from Clinique. House of Freed. I'll be in for my discount later. This is where I spent an idyllic time in the Florida Keys. It wasn't as blue as this, but taking that apart, it was a beautiful, beautiful island. I was totally inspired. There are loads of places like this around the world, but I loved the fact that what they managed to do on Little Palm Island was take the whole of the Florida Keys and everything that's beautiful about Floridian design and condense it into something that was just so charming. Beautiful little beach bungalows, all named after a bird, not Lulu or Alison Moy, the heron, the tern. It was a peaceful, tranquil place where most of the time I had some fantastic cocktails, which helped me then decide what I was going to talk about today because the shutters that surrounded me, the, the decking that had been stripped almost silver ash by the sun was so relaxed and comfortable. I thought, how good would it be to create an interior like that back home? This was the little bungalow area, and case in point, the things that I noted down to bring back home were the mix of rugs and decking, the hard and soft floor areas, comfortable slouch chairs, the detail was in the decorative cushions, little palm trees here, was a coral print, feature lighting, no big lights, all side lighting, and a mixture of neutrals was everywhere. But in every little interior you went into, there was a strong accent color, accent color. Shutters everywhere and light full billowing drapes. This was the, the restaurant through to the other area where you can see you can sit outside as well. Lovely decking again, the mixture of wood, the almost traditional way of looking at a contemporary light area interior. Light and airy, a mixture of hard and soft contrast areas, a mixture of plain and patterned fabrics, paisley pattern. Have a look at design works there, bedspread today is the most sumptuous bluey grey piping, uh, uh, indigo blue piping, mixture of different textures, <laughs> key accessories to add the detail. Everything you looked at in that environment reminded you of where you are. Beautiful big canopy beds. Now, we can't always do that, because if you're in a work, you know, two in the kitchen and government is pouring. However, all I'm saying is, take elements, think of white muslin curtains, think of Venetian blinds, get the look. So the concept was for me to look at something abroad and bring it home. I had to use the influences of Little Palm Island. I wanted light and airy shutters, decking, silvery crystal sands and corals. Lounging furniture, a mixture of texture as well as pattern and colour and fabrics and using accessories to give me a true Floridian favour. So the ingredients that I looked at then were crystal wallpapers. Now this reminded me of the neutrality of the of all the lovely walls, they were like polished plaster and sand. The glitter reminded me of the sand. The pattern reminded me of some of the, the trellis work and some of the other patterns. The shutters 
I thought of the shutters and then found this furniture that looked as if it was made from chunky shutters. The flooring here was a handy product. It uh, looked like the decking walking down to the jetty, bleached silver by the sun. The accent accessories, we've got the coral, you can find this that on the beach. Little pots, little bits of detail, mirrors reflecting light back in. Accessories, and introducing what we saw in the other room there. Corals, bright colours, contrast, slouch chairs, to create that interior. What I've done, you'll see, you'll say, oh, that didn't look exactly like that. You don't have to bring everything home and say, that's the mirror image. It's your interpretation of whatever you see. Whether you visit our stand or any of the fabulous stands today and you take something home, you can get the look, you could buy the product, you could spend some money, you could spend, splash out a fantastic boat concept sofa, get your cushions somewhere else. Work your magic, but be, be confident. Keep notes, keep a sketch, not a sketch pad, keep a tear sheet of things you see in magazines. Pull up pictures of me, put it on the biscuit tin, you'll never eat another biscuit again. <laughs> Think of inspiration. So the message there is, no matter where you are, if you can't make your home on Little Palm Island, create Little Palm Island in your home. Thank you so much for coming along this afternoon. Please come and meet myself, my business partner, Carol Yates, our new design assistant, Audrey Embleton, if you want any advice on interior design. I'm here to take some questions, if you'd like to ask me some. If any would like a signed photograph, I've only got 5,000 of these left, <laughs> so please hurry up. I'd love to come and meet you. There's information on the stand if you don't feel like talking but want some information. I'd really love to hear from you, and please keep in touch. Thanks for your time today.